Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Some people question my loyalty to the patriotic front. And I want to say that if there's anybody who has stood for the patriotic front, who has fought for the patriotic front, who has defended the patriotic front, if there's anyone who defines what loyalty is, dedication, selflessness, commitment to duty is, that person is Antonio Mourinho Wanza. I have fought for this party, the Patriotic Front. I've spent the last five years defending things that nobody was ready to go on radio, on TV to defend. I've spoken in favor of the party, even when it was not fashionable to do so. Even when we were unpopular, I've always stood to defend the Patriotic Front because I've always believed in our goal to ensure a properly developed Zambia in terms of infrastructure and opportunity for all, especially those people like myself who come from the compounds and the farmers who toil every day, the workers who work every day and still can't take their children to school because the money is not enough. I've been to every radio station and every television station in this country. to fight for patriotic front, to defend patriotic front. I have lived, breathed, and spoken patriotic front. I've been to all the 10 provinces of this country. I've been to every constituency, every word. I've knocked on doors, I've walked on roads, I've spoken to people in defense of the patriotic front. And I'm proud for everything that I've done and all my contributions to the party that I love so dear, very, very dear. I love the patriotic front, very dear. Very, very dear. So if anyone wants to question my loyalty, then they're not being honest. They're not being fair. They're not being just. Because I have been a definition of loyalty in the party. And I wish to use this opportunity to thank President Edgar Chagwalungu. I want to pay particular tribute to my boss, Honorable Davis Mwila Ulusad, whom I've worked for and worked with for almost five years. I want to pay tremendous tribute to the leadership of the Patriotic Front for giving me an honor and a privilege to save the Patriotic Front. And this brings me to the issue of the PF. In 2001, we went to a general election. We lost power. There are those who thought maybe we never used to tell our people or our leaders the truth. Everybody who is honest will tell you Mourinho does not miss his words. I speak from my heart. I don't put leak. I have no time for that. I speak my mind because I don't worry about what I'll eat tomorrow. As long as we don't worry. We come from Karingaring. We did our part as Secretariat. And we continue to do our part as Secretariat. We continue to provide our opinions, our advice. But we don't have any authority to make decisions. We are simply workers of the party. We are simply cadres of the party. Ours is to provide our honest opinions to our leaders. And it's up to our leaders to make decisions for themselves. After our loss, 
in 2021. The Patriotic Front took a very important step. They appointed a team that went countrywide to come up with a post-mortem report that gave details of why we lost power. And that post-mortem report also gave details of the recommendations of what Patriotic Front ought to do to bounce back into office in 2026. I'm not here to give the details of the post-mortem report because it's an in-house document. And I will not betray the soul of the patriotic front by addressing the party that I love. I won't. But one of the key issues was that the patriotic front must go to a general conference to elect a leader to take over from President Edgar Chagualungu and mobilize the party, PF, for 2026. That was a key recommendation among several recommendations of the postmortem report. And that is what brings me here today. When I sit here and look at people like Charlie the engineer, I look at young ladies like Nono, Kundananji, Rachel Lampi, Samantha Waria. I look at young guys like Ketis, Martin Mukuka, Tina Mukuka, Smith. These young people spend every day fighting for the patriotic fund. They have risked their careers. Nobody's going to employ them because they have been labeled as PF. They can't get a job. They can't get any opportunity because they have been labeled as patriotic front. They use their hard-earned money to defend the party every day on social media. Because they believe in the patriotic front. I think of elderly men like Bashkuru Maiko. like Bafano Mangala, who don't have much, but they spend the little that they have to call radio stations to defend the Patriotic Front because they believe in the ideals of the Patriotic Front. I think of Elvis, Thomas Rungu, Eye of the Eagle. I think about my aunt, Vajeni Muleng, Francis Mumbi, Mwana Mubiza. I think about the provincial leaders, the district leaders, the constituents leaders. I think about the ordinary members of the Patriotic Front that love this party so much. And today they are in limbo because the leadership of the party has failed to provide them with direction. It has failed to provide them with hope. It has failed to show them where we are going. Every day people call me. Every day people come to the secretariat. Every day people ask, but PF today are we? Lisa Mulesa Larida. When are you choosing a president? Are we ever going to have a general conference? What is our hope? Two years down the line, the leadership has failed to provide direction for this party. The leadership has failed to give a clear roadmap when the party is going to a general conference and elect the president of the Patriotic Front that will mobilize this party for 2026. Almost two years down the line, the party is failing to mobilize. President Michael Sada gave us an example every time he lost elections. He went back to the structures. He went back to the people. Our structures are in dilemma. Are we going to have a general conference or we are not going to have a general conference? That's the question. The membership of the party has been loyal to this party. I know the Central Committee I've worked with the Central Committee for the last five years. The majority of the members of the Central Committee means well for this political party. 
but there is a small clique within that thinks that they can bulldoze and the risk the contributions and sacrifices that people that worked with President Michael Sata have sacrificed. The contributions and sacrifices of those that have been in PF for 20 years and have not benefited anything, but they continue to support this part. There is a small group that thinks they can bulldoze and delay the process to elect the next leader. Even those that mean well for the party are failing to come forward and help the party. Because a party without a leader cannot sell. A party without a president cannot sell. Our members want to see a president elected. Our members recognize that we only have got two years before the next election. Our members want to see a party with a president. Having been part and parcel and worked for the Central Committee as a person at the Secretariat, I can say this with confidence, that there is no commitment, there is no willingness, there is no desire, there is no dedication whatsoever from Central Committee to take this part to the General Conference. The principal recommendation of the postmortem report to take this part of the general conference has been hijacked by a few people who don't want to see this party go to the general conference and elect the next leader. And this party has continued to lose honorable men and women who cannot see the direction of the party. You have heard some of the excuses they have given that we don't have money. It is the job of the Central Committee to mobilize resources to go to the General Conference. It is your job as members of the Central Committee to mobilize resources. It's your job. Are you leaving it to Shkrumaiko to raise money for the General Conference? Are you leaving it to Greyford Monday to raise money for the General Conference? Are you leaving it to William Peary to raise money for the General Conference? It is the responsibility of the Central Committee to raise money for the General Conference. You have heard another excuse that has been given. That we can't have a General Conference because there is a court case that Honorable Miles Sampa has filed in the High Court. The case that Honorable Mayo Samba has put in the High Court has nothing to do with the General Conference on the Petrology Fund. I have this. This is a complaint. This is from the High Court of the Republic of Zambia. The issues that Mayo Samba has raised are here. Three of them. One is to stop the Petrology Fund from expelling him or suspending him. Number two is to stop Honorable Given Winda and Honorable Nixon Chilangwa from acting as president, acting president, and acting Secretary General. Three is to stop members of the Patriotic Front from defaming him. There is no case in the High Court or any court where Patriotic Front has been stopped from having a general conference. So this cannot be used as an excuse. It cannot be used as an excuse not to hold a general conference. This party belongs to that great legend, Michael Chinchua This party belongs to every member of the Patriotic Front. It belongs to every Zambian who doesn't agree with what is going on in this country. The hopes, the dreams, the desires of our members across the country are being dashed every day. Because some people within the Central Committee have opted to push an agenda, not to have a general conference. And they are killing the party for Michael Sad. They are killing the party for a marketeer. They are killing a party for the student. They are killing the party for a retiree. 
they are killing a party for an ordinary Zambian on the streets. Clearly, we have reached the crossroads. There is no intent, there is no commitment, there is no willingness to have a general conference. As you might be aware, on Saturday, Central Committee will be meeting. And Central Committee has been meeting from 2001 to 2023. The key issues that affect our members are not being addressed. Our members have lost property, lost jobs, lost opportunities. Our members have sacrificed everything. Yet, there are some people who want to continue drawing us backward. And where we have reached, I don't see the Patriotic Fund holding a general conference to elect a new president. And I don't see a party without a president mobilizing itself for 2026. In fact, there is no mobilization that is going on. We have left this party to a few individuals that are fighting for the soul of this party. There is no direction, there is no hope. And because of that, I want to announce that today I have decided to take the following steps. Number one, I have decided to step down as the media director of the Patriotic Front, effective 31st of June. I have already written the letter of resignation to the party. Subsequently, I have decided to withdraw my membership as a member of the Patriotic Front. It is not an easy decision because PF is my family, because PF is my party, because PF is the party that I fought for. And I've dedicated everything. I've spent more time out there fighting for the Patriotic Front than I've spent time with my family, with my friends, and with my colleagues. And to the members of the Patriotic Front, I want to say we cannot allow this to continue. We have to preserve that party for Michael Sata. We have to preserve that party for Michael Sata. And this call goes to members of the Central Committee that mean well, and they're the majority that mean well. It goes to members of the provinces, the districts, they mean well. We need to find a home, particularly this country. We are losing the country and we cannot afford to go on on this trajectory. Without hope, without direction. We have reached the level of Kwacha Waida. Kwacha Kwafib. Kwacha Kwafib. General Conference, zero. Direction, zero. Mobilization, zero. We can't. I want to thank the PF. That's my family, that's my home. And I have to say, we need to find a home to help this country. We can't afford to continue on the trajectory that we're in. To over 188 million dollars, money which is a salary for the only mess. A country with sewage light, with cobalt, with copper, with emeralds, with gold, with diamond, with manganese. We have to be going around with a begging boat to let 188 million US dollars. We want to build a school, we want to get a loan. To build a school. You want to build a hospital, you want to get a loan to build a hospital. You have a country with no medicines, no medical supplies. You have a country with farmers working so hard at getting nothing. You have a country with millions of young people that need jobs. Having no opportunity, even when you go to school, you still don't get a job. 
Zambia deserves better and Zambia can do better and Zambia will do better. I want to thank you all. I end here. This is going to be. I'm not going to take questions. I was here just to address the media. And sorry, comrade, I will not take questions. Thank you so much. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. All right, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.